Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. And it's Angela Roberts here. And today we're gonna to take you through our infamous Kettlebell Chaos Workout. And with our Kettlebell Chaos Workouts, it's a strength and conditioning workout that combines different workout protocols, which is why we call it Chaos. So today we are gonna combine. Power. Combine. Strength. And combine. Conditioning. Right, cardio conditioning into one workout. So there's three different blocks. And each block, like we said, is gonna be focused on a different type of training modality. Yeah. Power, which is really, it's, you know, speed. Speed, moving uh, load fast. Right, as fast as we can. Strength uh, plus speed. And then we're gonna move into full strength. Full strength, where we move weight slowly. Right, and <laughs> heavier weight. And then, of yeah. course, cardio conditioning. So, uh, you know, again, this is a great pro this is a great workout because as we're using a single kettlebell, it's all you need. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go through different types of training protocols. Uh, protocol so we can be a full well-rounded well -rounded person, athlete. right? Athlete or, 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 or a fitness enthusiast. Yep. Yep. So hopefully you've warmed up before. Hopefully you have looked at the demo. And again, this is from our Kettlebell Chaos program. So we got a Kettlebell Chaos program. You guys love our Kettlebell Chaos workouts, so we put them into a program. Yep. But you can also join our Kettlebell Spartan Academy. So click the link anywhere. If you like this workout, click the link, grab the program. You can either pre-order it or depending on when you're watching this, just order it, yep. get it. And they're follow along workouts just like this. It's gonna be one yep. of the workouts. Yep. We're gonna be there to coach you. We're gonna be there to guide you and we're gonna be there with you. So yep. grab it right now. Click the link anywhere on this page. Get to my, my site and grab that program. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. So this is the first time we're doing this workout. So the first block is an EMOM, every minute on the minute. Yeah. So our first section is gonna be about power, moving weight load fast with full intention. It's low rep uh, and it's designed that way because we wanna get as much power, as much intention into every rep as possible. And then we rest until the start of the next minute. Right. Okay. Right, so the exercise that we'll be doing is Angela's gonna be doing a dead snatch. Yep. Right, so two aside, mm -hmm. uh, followed by power jumps. Yep. And I'm gonna be doing dead cleans, um, followed by power jumps. That's yep. just because I have really bad shoulders, but I still wanna be able to get a power yeah. movement. So I'm gonna be going a little bit heavier. But remember, it's 10 minutes of every minute on a minute. So really that's 10 rounds. Yeah. So the beginning just warm up, even though you've warmed up, you know, get, just get. Yeah, make sure your technique is on point. Yes. You're, uh, you're ready to go with full intention. Remember, we're gonna move this weight fast, properly, with full intention, and we gotta make sure we involve the entire body. When we're snatching or we're cleaning, we're coming right off the floor. Yes. With full intention, everything's involved, everything's working, and then jump and then rest. Right. Okay. Okay, so, and with the jump, well, we'll explain it to you as we get to it, but yep. again, it's power jump. So we're gonna start low, yep. jump as high as we can, land, stick that landing. gather, and then re-jump. Yeah, stick okay. your landing. Okay, here we go. Let's start off with uh, dead snatch and cleans. Uh, right side, you're gonna start with the right yeah, side? Yeah, I'm gonna start with the right side. I'm okay. gonna place the kettlebell on the inside of my right foot, right by my heel. Yeah, exactly. Right from that dead stop position. And every time we do a snatch, it's right from this position, from the ground, that's cool. what dead stop means. So we're gonna be coaching you through as well, and we're gonna be doing the same. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Are you guys ready? We're gonna start the clock in five. So remember, it's an EMOM. Right, two reps per side, <laughs> and then four jumps, and then we rest. For 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, every minute of the minute. Ready? Yeah. Three, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Okay, All right. Let's get as low as you can, that hip hinge, nice, deep, leading those quads up. Good, core tight. Good, Switch left hands. side. Hold it, core tight. Good. Good. All right, let's do some power jumps. Yep. Ready? Ready. Start low. And time. Good. So rest. Wow. Not a lot of time left. So we've got. Okay, 20 seconds from now. Yes. So Ooh. round number one. So again, when it's power, you should be tired. Oh yeah. Right, you Hard wanna be jumping one. as high as you can, throwing that kettlebell through the roof in the snatch. Yeah. Get, that, get the kettlebell ready, honey, for a snatch. Yep. And we're just gonna start in two, one, right hand, here we go. Good. Full body involved, jump. Good. Other side. Keep the elbow tight on the clean. Good, at the top of that position, you should be squeezing your entire body. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
rest. 30 seconds. Yeah. Time for me to change. So I started off with, God, I can never So even this. though it's low rep, as you can see, we're out of breath because we're giving it everything into every single rep. I've got 20s now. All right. We're I'm almost there. Snatch the 60s. So round number two, round number three. <clears throat> Get that oxygen in. Get that breath right, in. I want to jump as high as we can. Really slow. Here we go, core tight. Keep those elbows in on the clean. Yeah. So important that with the jump, it's a hip hinge, right? So you're hinging at the hips, you're using your arms as a gather. We're gathering momentum to explode up in the air as high as we can. And one thing you said to me that really stuck with me is try and stay in the air as long as possible. Yeah. What do they call it? You know, when you catch air or something? Float, baby. Catch float. that air. Stay up there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to Come don't try to fast. rush on the way down. Four seconds. Here we go. Full intention. Here we go. Sah. Sah. Good. Other side. Sah. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Sah. Sah. Okay, my core nice. is high. Okay, here, here we go. go. Yeah. Good. Light landings, stick the landing. I hate when people say soft knees because you don't know what soft knees mean. What it means is Light. when you come down, don't come down with your knees straight. It should be a quiet you should be landing. Bending. So you should start and end in the same position. Start here, jump, end here. Right, that's the goal. And quietly, it's absorbing that landing, right? Yes. So it's not a hard landing. What are last we? one. No. It's not the last one. No. No, it's only fifth oh, round. Fourth one. It's fifth, fifth. Here we go. Oh, I'm thinking five minutes. Sorry guys. Top of that snatch, if you're doing the snatch, squeeze those glutes, even the clean. Uh, yeah. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes. Jump! Ooh. Oh my god. I like that. Okay. That was five? So halfway there. Halfway. Move it on up. Oh jeez. Whenever I move up, the very first one, you really have to focus. Yeah. Cause you're not used to doing that weight. Use your full body. Use Technique. those hips. Use your feet. Here Let's we go. go. This is not funny. Oh. This is not fun. I disagree. It's not fun. You think this is fun? Yeah. <laughs> Remember guys, during this rest times, you're still intentional with your rest. Yeah. Yes. Slow the heart rate down. Focus on that next movement. Calm down. Number seven. Here we go. I'm 
go from the side next time. Okay. So you guys can see. Recover. Three more to go. If you are an athlete, fighter, whatever sport you play, basketball, volleyball, whatever, great. This should be included into your training. Power movements, power training. Slow it if down. you're just a regular fitness enthusiast, you should include this. Yes. Here we go. God, that comes so quick. I know. Ooh, core tight. Squeeze those glutes right here. Jump, get those feet right off the floor. Here we go. Oh, I can barely jump now. <laughs> Two more to go, eh? 9-10, yeah. 9-10. Recover. Recover. Slow it down. Oh, man. If you're finding that you can't recover in time, stop here, do eight minutes. Yeah. If you find you're okay, like, stick with us, do the last two sets. Nothing wrong with stopping. It's all about quality, though, yeah. so take your time. Don't rush through the... I don't know if I was left. Let's go. It's done. <laughs> guys. Focus on recovery here. Three deep breaths. Tell your heart rate to slow down. Fill up that diaphragm with air. Last one. Last round. Make this count. Yeah. We went up one. Full intention. 28. Everything you got here. Proper technique. Pause at the top. Down. Yeah, don't worry if you have a bad rep. Fix it. Okay. Get some rest. We're gonna Breathe. move into our strength mode. Pick up some water, get some rest. And then we'll explain what we're doing next. Water. How you guys feel? It's so important that after we're done this, you get a good, solid stretch. Stretch, because mobility. You're not going to feel as much, you're not gonna feel sore as much as you are tomorrow and the day after, after power training like that. Okay. Which is why, it's one last thing. Yeah. Whenever we do these type of workouts, power, explosive, it's very, heavy on your central nervous system. Yes. You can't do this over and over again. No. So our subsequent workouts in this program will not have power and strength until the end yeah. of the week. Beginning of the week, this workout, the middle, do something else more metabolic. Yeah. And in the end, we may add some more power. Yeah, or some zone two training, something light, yeah. you know, light riding the bike. They'll all, be, they'll all be chaos workouts, but they will be set up differently. Yeah. And you're gonna be doing them this one you're gonna keep doing, so you'll always have a chance to improve. Yeah, I don't want you to mistake the low rep count for the fact that it doesn't do much to the body. It oh, does a lot. When you're dry, destroys jumping body. everything, you destroys. need to recover. Yeah. If you wanna get better, you wanna jump better, jump faster, jump higher, get stronger, more explosive, you gotta recover. You gotta focus on that. All right. Okay, next. Strength. 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 So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do goblet squat, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift, and we're gonna do uh, some bent over rows. Yeah. But first, we're gonna do three sets of goblet squat. The five goblet, reps each. Five reps each. 
And there's two different holds. You can either hold it right in front of your chest Probably or good. a little higher uh, in front of your eyes. It's a little harder and works the upper back. So if you find that it, it's hurting your core too much and you're coming forward, bring it to the chest. Right. Okay, what I want you to focus here is putting the weight in the glutes and in the heels, not leaning forward. Right, right? in the heels, sit in those heels. Knees okay? pointed out during the entire movement so that we don't cave. When you start caving in, yep. that's gonna put way too much stress on the knees. We need to focus on keeping those knees spread out throughout the whole movement. So if you can only go this far before you go, go uh, yeah. Uh, bend, if you can only go this far yep. before you bend over or before your knees uh, buckle, stop there. Stop there or next set, go lighter, right? Yes. Your technique is comes technique, first. 100%. So if you can't manage the technique, because we're gonna add a little tidbit to this, is we're going slow down. Tempo, four down. Four, four down. tempo down and then fast, well, as fast as you can up. Yeah. We just wanna drive from the heels on the way up. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing three sets of goblet squats. One minute rest in between. So we've got the rest period here. Yeah. Again, we need to recover because we're going so heavy yeah. and we're going slow with the tempo. Yep. Okay, so grab, again, this is round number, off. Uh, set number one. Set number one, only but, three sets, five reps. Right, but we're sticking with the goblet squat. Yeah. But we want to go heavy. So I'm actually going to start with the 20 kilos. Me too. Because, you know, I'm gonna see how it feels. I think yeah. it's gonna be okay, but I may have to go down. We'll see. Yeah, and I may. Remember, it's a four tempo count yeah. down, which is hard. Uh, so you gotta make sure you're not leaning forward. Look straight ahead and keep that eye. I'm gonna try and look through the handle of my kettlebell the entire time. Yeah. Okay. The la just before we start the last thing, mm -hmm. I'm giving you guys a little bit more time to rest. Yeah. We just jumped. We just did power. Yeah. So our posterior chain, our quads are fatigued more than you think. Yeah. So really yeah. focus here as we go through this. Yeah, Ready? I mean, look at us. Like that. We only did like I'm four so jumps. Like yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a lot. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with five reps. You can follow us if you want. Yeah. Probably the best. Uh, we're gonna clean this up, double clean it up, yep. and then we'll get into four count four down, down, one up. You wanna count us through this or? Yeah, sure. Okay, ready? ready you guys, guys ready? Here we go. Ready, grab your kettlebell, put it between your feet. Yeah. Ideally by your heels, right in the center. <sighs> Toes slightly pointed out, just a little. Okay. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two, one. Up. Good. Four, three, two, one. Up. Heels, heels. Good. I'm way four, on my heels. three, two, one. Up. I think that's four. One more. One more. Four, three, two, one. It's up. Ooh. Good. So, Press. as we go through, I'll count. Okay. For you, like I'll count the yeah. reps. Yeah. Elbows tight for me. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm at the chest, but again, um, knees pointed out. Go as low as you can. You're gonna really feel this in the glutes. Yes, the glutes. But I want you to make sure that you're not thinking of the balls of your feet more in the center and in the heels. Sit back in those, let the yeah. glutes do the work. Yes. Just imagine your glutes are doing all the work, all the work pushing you back up. And the heels, drive through the heels. Drive through the heels, yeah. Again, if you guys like these type of workouts where we break things up, challenge, kettlebell chaos, click the link anywhere. If you're watching this on YouTube, this you could actually just be watching, you could be working out with us and yeah. just mind us promoting this program. But you go. You guys know how much you love kettlebell chaos. This kettlebell chaos workout, by the way, three seconds is brought to you by Angela Roberts. <laughs> Here we okay, go. Okay, guys, we both moved up to 24 kilos. Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's... Full intention. Good technique. Let's go. Ready? And shut. Good. Four, three, two, one. Shut. Four, three, two, one. Shut. Four, three, two, one. Two more. Four, three, two, one. One more. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Kettlebell start to come down. You saw my last rep. Mine too. It was down below my eyes. Start that timer. So good rest in between. Okay. Recover. So just a couple things. You know, I worked out before this, so I'm a little pre-fatigued. Pre 
my shoulders, upper body. So, you know, that's just, keep that in mind. But this is all about strength, right? So we're getting that lower body strength, core strength. So you'll feel oh, yeah. the posture. Goblet squat strength. is one of the best yeah. strength exercises you can do with the kettlebell. Yeah. So um, ensure that you're driving from those heels at this top of the movement, when we're right here at the top, you're squeezing your quads, you're squeezing your glutes, the whole body gets involved. Yeah. So <sighs> the idea is that carrying this load in this position slowly, and you're building that strength to be able to do that, right? If you're not keeping your technique, go down in weight. Yeah. Um, don't f make the tempo faster, no. that's not the point. We already did power. We want to go slow, so make it go lighter and go slow. It's a grind, right? We're yeah, grinding. Grind. This is a grind. Let's go. Ready? Right through this. Ready? Empower this kettlebell up. Let's go. Good. Down. Two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, four. Up. That's two. One, two, three, four. Up. Good. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Wow. Good job, guys. Biceps. I mean, just at how we can hold that kettlebell in that position. It takes a lot of strength, full body strength. We are done our goblet squats. That's our three sets. Okay. My bicep here? I'm holding it. Yep. So. It's a lot of weight. Auxiliary muscles yeah. that are getting used, right? Holding the goblet, you also got shoulder stability. Shoulders. Biceps, isometric hold. Core, yeah. anterior strength, keeping yourself up. The, back. the way Angela's holding it. All the upper back. The back, that's, you'll feel it much harder too. Yeah. It's much harder to keep it up high. Still have shoulders, still have biceps, still have chest. Yeah. And then not to mention the movement, which is lower Pause body. And glutes, okay, right? let's go a little bit lighter now, huh, shall we? Yes. Okay, single leg deadlift. So, this movement is a hip hinge movement. It's a, you, uh, a, a single leg movement. Yep. I'm gonna be doing it from the side and I'm gonna be loading the same side. Okay. So I'm gonna have my right arm holding the dumbbell, or kettlebell, and I'm gonna be going down. And again, this is single leg deadlift. So, we're bringing one leg up, as you go down, yeah. the, the leg that's posted is gonna be doing all the work, stability, balance, and then you're gonna drive back up using the glute and the hamstrings. Yeah. When you come to the top, I want you to stop at the top yeah. and then reset, okay? So think during this, during this exercise, glutes, 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 hamstrings. I'm gonna be doing the opposite arm, opposite leg. Um, yeah, they're gonna go, Slow down nice and balanced, maybe a two count. Sure, two, two, two. And then two, come two. back up, two and two? Yeah. Okay. Five each side, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start at the top up as the top. well. And here we go. Okay, ready guys? Here we go. So remember, hip hinge, drive that back leg up. One, two. You wanna keep the body two. straight, so kick that. Back foot and shit. Too much talking. Three. Bend that knee here. Four. Bend the knee. Switch sides for five. It comes right from that glute and that top of that hamstring here. Drive those feet. If you find your balance is off, you've got to push that big toe into the ground and bend that knee. I've got two more. Push Me those too. toes into the ground. Good work, honey. Whew. So, there's a lot that goes on with that exercise. Oh, there's so much. It's hard for us to coach Dury. Yeah. So, as you're doing it, one of the things that you don't want yeah. is you don't want to try not to rotate, right? This is also anti rotation, yeah. right? So, in order to do that, you can see how my back foot is kind of pointed inward. towards inward. He's pointing his toes in as he What happens out. sometimes is as you're doing this, the, the foot generally goes, points out, some people, and so that, yeah. see what happens when see my foot's pointed out? Rotate. So if I can try to keep my foot straight or pointed the other way, 
it forces my body to stay straight. Yep. Right? That was a big coaching thing for me, is how it helps me. Now, this is a difficult movement. Yeah. If you're struggling, you can just stick Don't to it. Don't even use a kettlebell. Do you use a kettlebell? Oh. Yeah, no weight at all, exactly. Yeah. Or just a staggered. Yeah. Um, but you've got it. It's, you've got to connect that feet, the entire foot, including that big toe, push it into the ground and try to come down at just about your wrist, about knee uh, level, okay? You don't have to go all the way to the ground. That's what gets more advanced, right? But so here, there's no weight, just one, two, and it's nice and slow, working on that foot, turning this foot in. Nice. Keeping that planted right? foot, that, 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 that foot here that's planted. Yeah. You want to feel the ground yeah. with that foot. You want to pretend like your foot is like a tree with roots into yes, the ground. Yes. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, let's go again. All right, so again, I'm using same leg, same side. I'll, I'll go this way this time. Yep. And just got the opposite leg. Here we go. Okay, ready guys? So hip hinge. Remember at the bottom, when you start to go down, you bend this, this uh, planted leg. Bend the knee. Quality. Stretch out that hamstring. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Three. Four. Good, Four. watch that hip rotation. I just had to check myself. There we go, five. Oh, man, if you don't feel that in your glutes. Oof. Push that toe into the ground. It's okay if you're Leg is shaking. That's normal. It's, it's, it's adjusting. It's, it's figuring it out. <sighs> oh, lost it there. <sighs> Last one for me. Oh, Good work. Now, Functor will tell you this has been my yeah. hardest thing to learn. Mine too. It's just so difficult for balance for me. Some people are easy, but anyway. But I've grown to love this exercise so much because it works the glutes and the hamstrings yeah. so good. You get so strong. I love it. You get so strong. It's one of those exercises you, you really cheat, have to right? work. Work For me, it was a couple years ago. I couldn't do it at all. Yeah. But I have a dumbbell program. And in that dumbbell program, I programmed it into the program. And I made myself do it every day. And I got to start to connect. And you can do this even with single squats. Yeah. Right? Single squat. Oops. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit higher. Yeah. Single squat, right, allows you to knees over toes and get comfortable in this position. Yeah. Right? Get comfortable in this position so that you have all of the muscles. Let me turn this way quickly. Yeah. All the muscles that are gonna be working yeah. when you do the same movement with a hip hinge. It's gonna be a little bit different with the hinge, but again with a single squat, right? You're able to start training all yeah. of these muscle, muscles. And if you don't get, like I said, start with a staggered and practice, no yeah, weight. Practice, practice, practice. One leg like this, even just doing this kind of stuff, just yeah. to get used to being on one leg and push those toes, especially that big toe into the ground. Let's Remember, do our last step. Anti-rotation. Do not rotate out yep. in any form or fashion. Let's go, ready? Okay, let's go. go. I'm gonna try and go a little lower this time. Come on. Bring my knees a little bit more too. And just hold it. Suspend it in air. Suspend. Do not let that dump, that kettlebell touch the bottom. Try to suspend. Pour with that glute. Ooh, that oh glute. my God. I love it. Jesus. It's so good. That right glute really did a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Probably didn't help that I just finished doing it. Single leg. There it is. Pull. Shh. Good. Let's hold at the bottom for a second. Get comfortable. Pull. Shh. I'm gonna try Good. not putting my other leg down. Three. Felt that one. Four. One more. Hip hinge, guys. Shh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That sucks. I loved it. Honey, I'm getting good at it. One, two, three, four. Okay. You're happy because I'm getting better at it. Okay. Let's go Last to the rows. Last one. Let's go to the rows. Oh, so, rows, yes. Pulls, 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 right? Yeah. Wanna go to rows? Let's go to 
Let's go to cardio. Yeah, I think that's good for yeah. the strength. Yeah. Strength, we just did the two. We're gonna move into the, Okay. we'll do rolls on another workout. Yeah, last portion of this workout is our cardio conditioning. We're gonna be doing, giving you two options. No, no two. One option, okay, so we're gonna do single arm swings, but you can do, um, if you find that you're not mastered in them yet, you find it a little difficult, you can do two arm swing. No. But we're gonna do five a side of our single arm swings with a transfer in between. So when we get to that fifth rep, I'm gonna to transfer to the other hand, and then we're gonna do five burpees. Then we're gonna do four aside, four burpees. Three aside, three burpees. Two, two, down to one. two, one, all the way down. Okay. So this is the cardio conditioning. Just take a bit of a break. Just a little bit more. We yep. just finished. Now we're doing the cardio base of our chaos, which, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be, again, this is on YouTube. <laughs> breathing, breathing hard, getting it done as fast as you can yeah. with proper technique. I'm going all the way down with my burpees, by the way. Are oh, you doing push-up burpees? Uh, well, I'm not gonna do push-ups, I'm just gonna go chest to ground, but not, not okay. CrossFit. Okay. Like explosive, so. Okay, I'll do that too. No, you can do whatever, do whatever. Yeah, that's good, I'll do that. I just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so listen, yeah. change it up. If you don't wanna change up the burpee variation, you can do that too. Yeah, just do burpees. But do burpees. This is all about cardio conditioning and, you know, kind of explosiveness too, yeah. still. Still, okay, yeah. power. Still got power, still got cardio. strength, but we're moving a little faster. Yeah. You're not gonna use as heavier weight as you no, normally use. No. This is more about conditioning, yes. endurance, that yes. kind of thing. So yes. you're gonna be breathing heavy. Yes. Make sure if you're breathing heavy, you're still thinking about your body, you're intentional, and you're doing your swing. Mm. Remember at the top of that swing, we're squeezing the daylights out of our quads and our glutes. Yeah. Our shoulders are packed, our yes. lats are engaged, right? Single, top, single, single arm, single arm. Or single arm, same thing. Just like here. Okay, and use that spare, the other arm for momentum. So just one last thing before we start. Yeah. As you can see in this workout, we've actually been setting you up for this. We set you up for the power, but also for the jump. Yeah. Because when you're doing the swing, it's the same motion. Yep. Right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You guys ready? All right, um, five aside. Five aside. Real. Ready, hip Three. hinge, get the height position, let's go. And transfer. And now five burpees. Put that kettlebell in the same way down as the same way you picked it up. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kick that Two. kettlebell back. Three. Four. And don't have kettlebells behind you. Uh, uh, wow. Spatial awareness. Yes, that was zero. <laughs> zero spatial awareness. Let me move these ones. I'm good, I'm good. <sighs> All right, four. Here we go. Four. I'm gonna rest a little more. Recover. The hardest is over, guys. The hardest part is over. No stop. <laughs> Hard part's over. We're only got three reps now. Here we go. Fly. Seven. 
Get good. Switch in between. Last one. Knocks. Give us those knocks. There you go, guys. Kettlebell chaos. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Great workout. Quick little finisher. If you want to keep going, you can go back up, right? Back up to five. We're quitting now. I would suggest based on the strength and the power we did. Still no need. Yeah, it's all about recovery. Recover. So, if you like that workout, you want more chaos workouts. Some are going to be more conditioning based. Yep. Some more metabolic. We're going to mix it up. Some like keep this. Keep you entertained. Keep you. But they'll all. Yep. Yeah. They'll all have three blocks, and the final block is always going to be conditioning. And they're amazing because you're gonna get an incredible shape, incredible fitness. Yes, be a, a well-rounded athlete. Yes, even though you're not an athlete, whether you are or not, we always want to be fit as an athlete, but look like a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm the Funkster. I'm Angela. Click the link anywhere. Like this, share this, leave your comments, and please give this beautiful woman some love. She's leading the charge in the kettlebell world. She's doing what a lot of people aren't doing. And big up to everyone else in the kettlebell space, yes. kettlebell kings. If you need kettlebells, click the link, grab kettlebell kings, and all you other kettlebell trainers out there, Shh. we love you. You guys are crushing it, and uh, you know you guys are bringing kettlebell to the kettlebells to the forefront. Yes, as the dominant piece of equipment, specifically as we get older. I'm 53. 51. So we're gonna crush it. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We love you. We we uh, love your support, and we'll see you next workout. Ready? Awesome. <sighs> you do yours. <sighs> Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it. And I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that those comments. And if you like that workout, click that button right there and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.